How you doing, everybody? Hey, Welcome everybody. back to Late Night. As you know, we've had a great show so far, and this is the part of the show where i got to get things off my chest. Yeah, uh, funny. As you know. <laughs> Here we are in the new millennium, and I, an American-born citizen, born and raised in New York City for over three decades, can't get married to the one I love. Imagine at a time and day where we're so complacent with HIV and AIDS treatment and education, where we're complacent about the topic of homelessness of our youth and our elderly, where we're complacent about the meaning of senseless war that I, a homosexual man, cannot get married, to, married and share my wealth in the state with the partner that I choose. Wow. What is it that makes people feel that human rights no longer apply to humans? See, in history, marriage was not to procreate like the religious right would lead us to believe. In that case, why the two heteros would get married and not have children? In that case, they should not be able to get married. Well, how fucking ridiculous does that sound? Well, they say marriage is between a man and a woman. Well, that's what the Holy Bible says, right? Yet this is the same Bible that's been used to make sense of every war, genocide, and enslavement of every culture in this world's history. So I'm confused. What does the Bible say? They say if you allow gay marriage, then, well, then we're going to go marry dogs and cats next. Are you fucking kidding me? That's leading me to believe that you're not only an ignorant, but you're just a sick, perverted bastard with the intellect of a fucking washing machine. Now, how do you interpret what you want as a human and I cannot? Are you fucking shitting me? And it's not just the right-wing pricks in power that use the philosophy to justify their ignorance and fear. Well, then what's the excuse of my fellow homosexuals that think that marriage equality has nothing to do with them? These hypocrites would like you to believe that the only issue for the gay community is HIV and AIDS. Yet these are the same people spreading the disease to justify their government funding. Uh, how you doing? See, we live in a world where we've lost what the fucking meaning of human rights means. So check your shit at the door. If your faggot ass wants to cruise on sex sites recklessly with one hand on the mouse and the other lighting the pipe, never once thinking about the meeting of prevention that you just had two hours earlier, See, you don't have to be into marriage to say that marriage equality is a basic human right. See, we're battling some of the worst rising numbers in homeless children in America, not in foreign countries far, far away, but in every neighborhood around this country, there are kids prostituting themselves to fucking eat. There are elderly people still eating cat food out of a can to survive. We still have thousands dying in wars that we have no idea what we're fighting for. So let's get real with each other. Let's be getting to turning our attention to the issues that are more important than whether you think me and my loved ones should be walking down the aisle to promise one another our dying love and devotion. To know that if you don't agree, then you're not invited. To know that homosexuals can take care of more than one fight at a time since we multitask while cruising on the net and at bars. Let's realize in our selfish way that we are not the center of the universe and that there are gays and lesbian and transgender folks that believe in monogamy. That your bitter ass should realize that I don't care that you cruise online, but that you cruise online recklessly. See, it's not marriage that bothers you. It's my proud attitude that scares you. So remember this. If you don't like me, it's cool because I don't give a shit. I will marry who I want and live with my life the best way that I see fit, whether you recognize my life is valid or not. See, I don't know you, and to be real, I don't want to. I will continue to live my life not concerned about your hatred and your ignorance, and I definitely suggest that you do the same. Good night.